17. So Miranchek Ivanova just seen Brittany Reese go out to 671 in the long jump. She's been pushed back to third. Marina Beck Romanova has taken over into second place. Getting huge cheers from the Belarus crowd on the far side. Ooh. Yes, it's a white flag. She was very tight on the board. She doesn't look as though she's happy with the jump. Nevertheless, oh, I don't know. It was very close to Reese's 671. She takes the lead though, 674 for Moranchek Ivanova. Thumbs up to her and her family. And there's, well, we saw it a couple of times. She captured the imagination of the crowd. Well, I wonder whether Marina Beck Romanchuk has actually got wind of what her compatriot Yulia Levchenko is doing on the other side of the stadium. Can't be anything but inspired if she's got wind of Levchenko rising to new heights. Well, that's very close to 670, but I don't think it's going to improve a position. Miranchik Ivanova having gone out to 676, and Brittany Reese, the American, at 671. So we've got both the women's long jump and high jump going on in the center of the arena at the moment. She's really building up to a climax. Just got seven more events to be completed, as you can see in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But it looks like Europe are well on the way to taking this inaugural edition of the match. 6.73, well, she does move up in... So now, Brittany Reese, how can she respond to that? She's a phenomenal competitor. 6.59 is very modest by her own exalted standards. I think that's taken the lead back again by maybe a centimeter or two. That yellow imposed line on the sandpit tells you where the lead is. Much better jump on the board. 671, so 674. Always good to have a home crowd win, really gets the crowd stirring. So we got the men's javelin and the women's shot put still going on. We've got two events on the track, the men's 3,000 metres and then the mixed medley relay to come. Confirmation, Nastasia Mironchak Ivanova gets the win by one centimeter over Marina Beck Romanchuk. Europe one, two, and four. Yasko Romania, unfortunately.